Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University. We are looking at academic standards and some thoughts. An academic standard is a statement about what students should know or be able to do. A benchmark is how they will demonstrate or what exactly they will do to demonstrate that they have met that standard. Know that standards are more political than educational. We know that there are influences outside of education because not all the standards are supported by a body of research. Some of the standards are just not uh, nonsensical or don't make sense. As far as academic standards, they are good. They're a good thing. They kind of give us a sense of what should be, but that doesn't mean more sh is better. They should be used as a general guide to provide a sense of what should be taught. But just like medicine, a little is good, too much can make the patient sick. And in general, when we look at standards, there are far too many standards. A body of research says that learning is more apt to occur if you teach fewer things more deeply. More standards does not mean more learning. It just means you're trying to cover too much stuff. All right. And if you look at the standards, really take a sense at look at some standards Ask yourself, can students actually learn all that in one academic year? As far as standards, you should never abdicate your responsibility as a teacher to follow research-based best practices. A body of research should be your guide. Standards should be used to inform your practice, but not dictate your practice. Standards is not, or a set of standards is not the same thing as a curriculum. A curriculum is a planned sequence of concepts and skills to be taught. Also, when talking about standards, complexity is not the same as rigor. Making things more complex or complicated means it's just harder to do, but that's not the same as academic rigor. In general, we need fewer standards, more open-ended, that are more efficient and effective in documenting our students' ability to learn. And know that academic standards always have a limited life span. There will always be another set or next generation of standards. Every three to four years, a new set of standards that we must do uh, comes into being. So you can't take standards too seriously. They're good, they are good, but too many or taking them too seriously will get in the way of real teaching and learning. Here's a general sense of common core standards related to English language arts, and these are good. There are some reading standards in these four, and there's a subset of standards in each grade level related to these four kind of uh, 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 areas. Reading informational text, good, 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 and some foundation skills, it's all good. Related to English language arts, there's always a, also a set of standards related to writing, speaking, and listening in language. All good, all good, but too many and too complex makes them useless. They should be used as a guide, but not as a curriculum to inform, but do not abdicate your responsibility as a teacher to know and understand what a body research says about creating meaning with text and to know what a body research says about what is best practice.